Even all remarks here, back in another video, back again with another Oculus Go slash Quest video. Now we know the Oculus Quest is due out soon, and one of the kind of key features that you can get on your Oculus Go is the ability to play PC VR games on your Oculus Go wirelessly connected to your PC. Now, a lot of people are wondering, will that work on the Oculus Quest? Well, we've had confirmation that yes, it will. ALVR and V-Ridge have both confirmed they're working on sort of adaptations of their system to work. So there's two different ways. I use ALVR because it's free, um, but there are some caveats to how it works. What I will do is put a link down below and up above to my video that explains how to set up ALVR on your Oculus Go. I'm pretty sure the process will be exactly the same for the Oculus Quest. The only difference may be initially you might need to sideload the application for your Oculus Quest, whereas with the Oculus Go you just enter a key into your account and you get the application. So you, you have the app on your headset, you have AR VR on your PC, and as long as your PC is VR capable, so do remember it's not your headset doing the lift and work, it is your PC, uh, you can play PC VR games. I do recommend a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection because that does help keep the quality nice and crisp, nice and high. What I will do is flash up a screenshot of my settings for AR VR because I know a lot of people ask um, and I find this works well for me. Um, and we'll have a little look. We're going to play a little bit of War Thunder, which is a free-to-play game on PC where you can play as an aeroplane, a tank, or a boat, uh, and run around and fly around and sail around and shoot each other. So let's crack on and take a little look at how it plays. So here we are in the main menu of War Thunder. I'll leave links down below to where you can uh, grab this game for free. Uh, you can kind of see, even though I've got a 5 gigahertz connection, I've got it turned up a little bit to make the graphics nice and crisp. And you do get the occasional sort of glitchy sort of uh, spot. What I would recommend is whenever you start this up, you do it, reboot your headset, reboot your Wi-Fi, reboot your PC, make it nice and clean. Uh, and then hopefully you should have sort of the best kind of experience. But it doesn't kind of uh, get in the way of kind of enjoying the game. So... Down the bottom left here, we can choose between aviation, army, and fleet. Let's do a quick battle as an aeroplane, can we? Shall we? You can use uh, sort of aviation controls. So if you've got sort of uh, paddles and sticks, you can use those. If not, you can use a control pad connected to your PC or keyboard and mouse. And I prefer keyboard and mouse. Um, control pad works quite well, but I find it works a little bit better if I kind of use my keyboard and mouse. So let's uh, jump in, see what happens. So we've got a few seconds and we're in. So mouse works quite well. You literally kind of just point with the mouse to guide your plane around. You can press, I think it's F2, there you go, and jump into your aeroplane. And now we've got to try and find some bad guys kill so this is all in 3d you can see it glitching occasionally sometimes it does it more than others sometimes not it depends a lot on your connection but for the most part it works really well latency seems to be quite good uh, oh yeah here we go here's the bad guys I think if we uh, zoom in we can oh there's a guy come closer over here let's try and get him we can speed ourselves up a little bit and I find I find the airplane ones really hard. I can't find myself shooting anybody in this thing. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Destroyed him. Nice. Alright, let's try and... Oh, 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 I'm being shot at. But it works quite well. I'm not, I'm not... Ooh, I think just, we just hit each other. Oh, oh wow. Well, that was, uh... Disorientating, for sure. But, uh, you got to kind of lead your shots when you're doing these airplane uh, levels. Oh, there you go, he crashed the ground a bit of points because I shot him. Oh, look, that's a, that's a pilot. Can we, can we get him? Oh, no, I need to reload. Come on, reload. Oh, did I kill his parachute? I hope I did. Oh, look at the fire everywhere. Oh, I'm being shot at. So you can look around, you can see, oh, my plane has been destroyed. Ugh. And crashing. Uh, it's all glitching out of me. There you go, so we can click. Go to battle again, just to join back in. You get usually get a countdown. Uh, oh no, no, no countdown on this one. So we can jump ourselves in for a closer look. Oh, one button. Uh, there you go. F2 to zoom in. I think on the control pad it's like press Y or something like that. But 
Yeah, it's a cool, cool looking airplane game. It's your typical sort of uh, freemium type game where you can purchase packs to unlock different things. Uh, go away from my guns to, oh, my guns jammed and out of ammo. So I gotta wait for it to, wait for it to unjam and refill its ammo. You can still chase down people. You still see the little sort of circle in front of them is what you gotta aim for. There we go. Get him, get him! Critical hit! Yes! He's going down! He's not going down. But I'm gonna keep chasing him. I'm gonna keep chasing him. Keep him in my sights. Keep that fire burn down so as soon as it's ready, he starts firing again. Oh, is he down? Oh no, he's changing, changing direction. Oh! He's playing, playing cheeky buggers on me. Look, turn right on me. Oh, where is he? Was it, which one was it? This one? Load. So I am getting a few sort of glitchy bits. What you're not seeing on screen is the actual quality I'm seeing. That's a capture from the actual PC itself. But I've got it turned up a little bit, so it does look pretty good. About as kind of as well as I kind of expect it to look. Every occasionally, sort of maybe every 30 seconds, no, maybe more than that. Maybe sort of every minute, minute and a half, I'll get sort of a, a little bit of pixelation where the kind of screen goes a little bit pixelated for just half a second. Oh, 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 I'm being shot, mind. But uh, for the most part, it works quite well. Let's jump out, shall we return to the hangar, and I'll show you what it looks like in tank mode. Use the actual sort of scroll wheel to get inside the tank so you can actually sort of uh, drive it. But uh, this is kind of a cool mode. I quite like tanks. I quite like, I think this is probably my favorite. So it's got this kind of like a slow follow to the uh, cursor on screen. You can sort of see the X on screen is actually what you're actually fighting and um, you're aiming at. Um, if you were to actually shoot. Can we go over here? We can go over here. Oh yeah, that got oh, 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 slow down a bit, slow down a bit. We want to aim at him. Come on. Bosh! Shoot him! Oh okay, well let's use let's just use the controller. For some reason I think because I selected control pad, it's now forgotten about my control. So let's use the control pad now instead. So this is the Xbox One. Bluetooth controller connected to my PC, not connected to my Oculus Go. Uh, where am I? Looks like some people are over this way. Oh, hello, here's a bad guy. And oh, I missed. Oh no, he's gonna run me down. Oh no, he's point blank on me. Look. Oh, is he dead? He's dead. You see at the bottom there. You can press the different buttons to switch between different types of weapons. So some of your vehicles might have different guns or that sort of stuff. Well, this works quite well as well. Controls quite well, um, and I can kind of—you do get the kind of full 360-degree look around, so you can kind of scope out and look for enemies. So if you're playing this sort of game anyway, um, this will probably help you kind of like keep an eye on where things are. Oh look, we need to get get that capture point down there. Don't we? Let's get down there. That was a bit of a, a skid. That was a bit disorientating. But hey, look at that guy. He did like a 180. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But like free, most freemium games these days, you kind of, uh, you you know, the more you play, the more you unlock, um, the better the game becomes, the better the tanks and vehicles and stuff that you get. Uh, so it works quite well. And I've had quite a lot of fun playing ALVR games on uh, the Oculus Go. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to it coming to the Oculus Quest. I do know maybe with the Oculus Quest that they've kind of said no sort of promises on performance because I think the Go does a good job of kind of hiding maybe how bad the latency is because we're doing how it is um, because it's only three off. You're only looking around with your head. Now, if you were doing standing up, jumping with controllers, the latency would be a little bit worse. And I do know from using one-handed Beat Saber with the Oculus Go controller. It does work, but you do get a fair bit of latency. And I've got a video on that, so I can show you that video. Uh, I'll put a link to it down below. Oh, wow, he just, oh, there he's running into me. Oh, no, don't kill me. Where's my little cursor thing gone? There it is. Oh, he's dead. That's all right. Oh, there's another guy over here. Look at him. It's a bit harder to aim, I think, with the, uh, with the, uh, with the Xbox controller. It's a good thing is, like, look, you can kind of just turn around with your vehicle, wait till your sort of crosshairs and your tank slowly turns around to shoot. 
and uh, get a shot off on him. Where's it gone? Where's my cursor gone? Oh, the, the AI or my teammates are all destroying these lot. I'm uh, destroying it. But let's uh, jump out, shall we, and have a look at uh, what we've got left. Boats. So now we've got ourselves a little boat. Once again, you get your little sort of radars and you can look around. Oh, you can shoot. Oh, it's quite tricky sometimes to actually aim because the cursor, you, you get like this round, big round cursor. That's actually kind of what you're controlling to aim at because you can aim in different directions that you sail. Um, and then the other cursor is actually where the, the gun is actually at. So you've got to kind of wait for your gun to catch up because it also just doesn't turn as fast as maybe you, you'd want it to. Oh, we got him. You sunk. Yeah, crew knocked out. Yes, maybe. Oh. And once again, you've got to kind of capture points as well. So this is the capture, capture the point mode. You can see over here, there's some uh, ships that have, need to be shot. Come on, we can get you. Yeah. I actually kind of like the, the boat one. I actually kind of think maybe I kind of prefer the boat one overall. Wasn't shooting a teammate there, was he? <laughs> oh, don't run into me! Oh, you get like proper damage like that, where certain parts of your hull or whatever are damaged. Uh, there we go, we've got this area. This round sounds quite good. You can hear the sort of shots coming from all different directions. It's very playable. There's nothing wrong with this. I mean, at the moment, I've not had a little sort of blurry moment since we've joined this game. Um, so it's worked really well. Oh, I think I'm playing against an actual person. Am I here? Because this person shoot me. I need to reload. Oh, I'm down. No. So there we go. There's War Thunder on your Oculus Go. You do need a PC, a VR gaming PC to be able to make use of this. I get asked all the time, can I use a Chromebook to play PC VR games on my Oculus Go? No. Your PC needs to actually do all the hard, heavy lifting for the game. Your Oculus Go, all it does is display it and you know tracks your head movements or sort of thing. That's it. So you need to have a system that can support the games. But if you do, you have a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, you install the app on your PC and on your headset, they wirelessly connect together and it works really well and I'm quite impressed. At the moment, the settings that I'm using work really well. You get the occasional sort of fuzzy uh, moment, but that's kind of to be expected because it is over Wi-Fi, all sorts of things can get in the way. My phone could do something to my Wi-Fi connection and make it go all weird. So as I said in the video as well, make sure you kind of reboot everything before you give it a go, but overall, that works really well, very playable on the Oculus Go. So you could be sitting down on your sofa playing this game remotely with a controller connected to your PC. Perfect, and I think it's great. And it's an exciting kind of thing that this sort of thing will will come to the Oculus Quest because they have confirmed both V-Ridge and um, ALVR have confirmed that they're going to bring a version of it to the Quest. So what I would say to that is, yes, that we will have our six degrees of freedom, so the two-handed Beat Saber where we can duck or whatever on the PC. Granted, that's already on the Quest anyway, but, you know, remember that it is Wi-Fi, so it is kind of streaming it. It's not perfect. I do know that Oculus were looking into doing this officially, and maybe they couldn't get it 100% perfect, so... They didn't want to bring it over because, you know, if it's not 100% perfect, people will complain. And given that ALVR is free, and I think V-Ridge is like $15 or something like that, uh, it's a very little investment to en enable this uh, feature for you. What I would say is ALVR is great for NVIDIA graphics cards, but if you've got yourself um, a Mac or an AMD card, you're going to want to look at V-Ridge because it's got a little bit better support. But ALVR does work on some AMD cards. You just kind of have to suck it and see. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions about ALVR or War Thunder or, you know, anything that I featured in this video. Uh, do you want me to kind of play some other games in ALVR with the Oculus Go? And obviously I'll do them on the Oculus Quest once I grab one next week. Just leave your messages down below and I'll check them all out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why I didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Be calm with the remarkables, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.